No brakes, obviously. No clutch either, that's hydraulic too. My buddy Joe bid for the old bus, and so today's the day we're gonna get it pulled home. They've already got it tugged out of the woods. He kinda liked it, I kinda like it too. He's hoping he's got some customers that might like it and find it a new home so it can see the road again. Right at the property. Joe's got the cab off the Chevy truck. Loaded, ready to take home. There's the chassis. He's over here at the bus, filling the tires. He's got her all chained up. Ready to pull it home. We're gonna see what happens. Hopefully there's not too much excitement. Yeah, hopefully only the good kind. It's got a good grill. Yeah. Too bad there's no way for me to communicate with you back when I'm riding, steering it. Get one of them bear horns. <laughs> Two blasts for emergency. Two blasts for emergency. Three oh. blasts, never mind. <laughs> yeah, cancel that. Oh, we got cell phones. This has quite the wind chill. I should have worn more clothes. But they say don't whistle past the graveyard. Nice gentle tap. It's two big burly trucks. Ain't gonna hurt either of them. We were trying to avoid pavement, but that's an intersection where it was kind of unavoidable. Definitely feel those old flat spotted bias ply tires getting a thumping cadence going. Home we go to the rust ranch, one mile at a time. Air temperature's dropped about 10 degrees since we started. Clouds and the cold front have rolled through. No door on this bus, that wind's just kind of blowing right through here. And
No brakes, obviously. No clutch either, that's hydraulic too. We had to drop the drive line to get her out of gear so she'd roll. It's always nice if you have a manual clutch. You can use the transmission itself to stop it. You just put it in gear, put that clutch in, and then kind of let that clutch out, and it'll jerk, jerk down to stop. So at this point, we've got a kind of a mixture of gravity, inertia, speed, prayers, and the watchful eye of the tow guy and the steer guy with me being the steer guy. And we're guiding her on home. Slow and steady, nice and easy, back to the rust ranch. I need a pair of goggles. All this dust keeps blowing back in my eyes. Maybe a helmet too. Hopefully not a helmet. Here we come into the rust ranch. This is just a teaser. I'll be filming out here at the rust ranch soon so you guys can see a little bit of what Joe's got. There's my 51 Cadillac. Gotta get it up and get some wheels on it, get it rolling. There's the 59 Chevy bus. We're gonna be parked in right next to it. We've landed, we made it. So here's the old bus. We got her home. Here to Joe's place at the rest ranch. Kind of a neat old bus. It's gonna be 60 to 63 era. A long old dude. This bus is actually built by Superior, which made hearses and ambulances. Superior built school buses as well as hearses and ambulances. Those are primarily really only GM, mostly Cadillac, some Pontiac, Oldsmobile maybe. The school buses were built on basically every major truck chassis, Ford, Dodge, Chevy, GMC, International. Superior bus has kind of a unique style to it. It's got the little bubble fender fairings on the back wheels. It's got a little more rib design on the sides and then it's got this kind of neat crown arch across the back that's a design detail that was in continuity with the hearses and the ambulances typical old 60s, 70s era camper conversion in here. 
Really, it was pretty well done back in the day. The wood, surprisingly, still not in that bad of shape. This one thing it has going for it is it is a school bus, so it's got a solid steel crown roof. It's not like an old camper where after time they start to rot at the seams and come loose and fall apart and then the whole thing just kind of collapses and you can't do anything with it. This was somebody's cozy home at one time and it was home to critters for a little while out in the woods. It can be fixed up, rehabbed again if somebody really wanted to. Just a unique relic of its time. Even got the TV set mounted up in the front here. These are cool old vehicles. Every one of them, you know, has a story that you wish it could talk and tell. We pulled this thing out of the woods. You guys saw in my last video, walk around to the place where it had been sitting and we basically outbid the junk man for it at the auction just kind of thinking that the 22 fives the rims and tires were worth something just because they're not a split rim get the thing home and realize it's a pretty decent straight old bus and it's coming on 55 60 years old so after a time all this stuff you know, they go away and people start to realize the uniqueness and the value of them. And really, about anything can be collectible if it's in decent shape. Having been converted to a camper, it's well on its way to staying that way. If somebody as a collector wanted to rehab it, refurbish it inside, make it good again, this would be a good collector vehicle for that even got the tow hitch on the back you could pull a boat or car trailer with your old car behind it if you wanted to even got this rack on the top you can strap all your suitcases all your wares pack it along she's got the v6 motor that's a pretty typical gmc thing a lot of people like these motors a lot of people didn't Amazingly, it's got a single barrel carburetor on it. Little bitty baby carburetor to feed this big old bus. Unfortunately, the radiator's gone missing. And I grabbed the fan belt there, tried to turn the motor with the fan blade and I don't think she's wanting to do anything. So this is one of those that if you like the V6, if you wanted to keep it, I mean, I guess a guy could rebuild it. Otherwise, uh, probably wouldn't be too bad of an idea to swap in something else with maybe a little more power, but that's up to the next buyer. I like my stuff stock. Everybody does it different, builds it the way they want. It will be for sale. If you have an interest in it, send me an email, mrgoodpliers1985 at gmail.com, and I'll put you in touch with Joe. Not every camper has an observation deck on the back. This one does.